Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and today we're going to be playing some best of one standard. Um, this is a Sultai combo control deck. Um, it is built around Emergent Ultimatum. So Emergent Ultimatum is uh, somewhat the lesser used ultimatum, um, but effectively you get to look for, through your library for three mono-colored spells, um, and then your opponent chooses one of them. It goes back into your library and you can cast the other two for free. Um, and the combo element of our deck is you search up Vorinclex, uh, Valky, so for the Tybalt side, and then you can take like an extra turn spell with Cure Best see, sorry, with uh, Alren's Epiphany. And either your opponent lets you ultimate Valky right away, or you get an extra turn in like Vorinclex. Um, so there's kind of pieces like that. You can also search up stuff like QR Best of Sea Gods, Hardcast Shark Typhoon, uh, a bunch of removal in the deck as well. Um, Seagate Restoration draws you a bunch of cards. You can find removal if needed. Um, so it's pretty flexible kind of control combo style shell. Um, and the way we kind of piece it together is we have a lot of early removal in the form of like Eliminate, Heartless Act, uh, Binding of the Old Gods, Shadows Verdict to kind of sweep your opponent's board. Uh, we have a ramp package of Tangle Floor Hedron, Wolf Willow Haven, Cultivates. Um, even the binding itself can help you ramp up. And then you have uh, Disruption and Card Draw. You have like Jawari Disruption, Omen of the Sea can draw you cards. Uh, I like playing like a Midnight Clock. So um, this uh, kind of shell came from MTG Melee um, from one of the SCG qualifiers. I did play um, this a lot last season as well, kind of a similar shell. Um, what I like is with the Midnight Clock, even with Vorinclex, it puts the counters on, double the counters. Um, so it lets you find stuff in your graveyard and shuffle it back in late game. Uh, we have the addition of Behold the Multiverse as well as some more card draw. And then just late game, we have ways to like just kind of kill people with Coma. Um, Boon of the Wish, Will Wish Giver is a nice card because early you can cycle it for one. Uh, late game, you can just draw four cards off it. Because sometimes Seagate, you run out of cards in hand and it doesn't really provide like huge amounts of value. Um, but outside of that, it is a Yorian uh, deck, so we do have the ability to blink stuff like Omen and the Bindings late game. Um, and the mana base, nothing too special. Notably, we have one Ketria Trinome, which can be fetched with the Binding to play the backside of uh, Valky. Um, so there is a sideboard listed here. I'm going to be playing it in best of one. Just want to give see what the format's like in best of one. Uh, some of the subs do play pr predominantly that. Um, and we will go from there. I had my old uh, Sultai list queued up. So we're just going to play the play ranked right now. I'm like two or three wins away from Mythic, so don't want to necessarily experiment with new decks just right now. Um, but yeah, we'll play that. Uh, we'll be featuring a couple different decks today, and we'll have it up on the YouTube. If you do have any questions, decks you want to see on the channel, do let me know in the comments as well. Um, I think this hand is fine. We're on the play. Uh, notably, we do have a combo piece in hand. And we don't have any ramp, though. Uh, this has got to get black anyways. I think we keep. I can get black on one. This Jawari is probably going to be a tap line. Okay, so they're playing Tybalt's Trickery. Like 99% sure. So we're going to hold up Jawari Disruption. And just like watch them cry so being on the play is good here we can hold up Jawari so we do want to draw some lines here ideally so this is something you probably have to look out for more in best of one you don't see the Tybalt's trickery deck too much in uh, best of three just the inconsistency with it in best of one, people can't really sideboard necessarily. So we're going to get a black source here. Do a Valky. So the risk here, I can go Valky this turn. See what's in their hand. I think we do that. Okay, so if they do draw the zero spell then they get us this turn but if we are able to clip it then this allows us to at least put some pressure on so 
So I'm just going to take the option to miss a line drop here. I want to hold up the Jawari as long as it's feasible. Okay, I want both of those, I think. Actually, we need a green source, so... Let's do it like this. I'm keep I'm opting to keep the basics in the line in the deck because we have stuff like um, cultivate to find spells. So I'm just gonna cycle Shark Typhoon for one here. We're missing lines as well, so this Jawari disruption is gonna get worse. Okay, so there's our green mana. So a bit of a non-game by your oppo our opponent, and that's kind of expected. If they don't draw into the combo, they did mull to two. So it's one of the downsides. Trickery sometimes can get you on turn two. So here we can get the Midnight Clock going. It ramps us, keeps disruption up. Um, so we do have the option to Vorin Clex this turn. I think we just keep it safe. Um, let's just do Yori into hand. Yori could just draw some cards. Okay, Behold's also nice here. Opponent must be get, drawing like all their gas. Um, I think we just try to close this out as quick as possible. This also lets us see what's in their hand and then potentially take one of their bigger spells. Okay, so they literally drew all their top end here. We'll just take Dream Trawler. Actually, I should have taken Coma. I could have been a copy of Coma. I think I like Omen here. Let's us play out something this turn if they don't. Okay, so our Jawari is now no longer effective and they're dead. When you want to play a coin flip deck, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Um, so that was kind of like the, it was a weird game. You can't really draw too many conclusions. The opponent really didn't do much, but had the potential to do a lot. We took the chance on turn two, trying to pick off an artifact. Let's see if we could run into a real game of magic. So Valky, sometimes in the deck, like what you want to do is if you see like you're playing against like another control deck, combo deck, sometimes just playing Valky out on two for information, even though you know it's probably going to die, is useful. It helps you play around things. Opponent goes first. They're on Yorian. I think we keep this. We have a nice ramp package. So I'm going to go play this on tur turn one tapped um, with the intention of going turn two Florhedron depending on what they play out I may decide if we don't hit another land I'm gonna play this out if they show like black mana ways to interact with the Florhedron okay so they're on like some sort of doom pile so we did hit the land I think I just want to consistently hit my land drops we just want to get to ultimatum here so this will tap for green. We'll probably put this in as blue. Okay, so they get Yorian. When you can play out your basics, it's better. Um, I think we just go Swamp Swamp here. 
So next turn, I can go tap floor Hedron, depending what they play out, I can go binding. So they're on a four color build. Okay, so no value binding is pretty good for us. So I'm just gonna go my own binding, blow up their binding. I just don't want them to ramp here, and this gives us a permanent if they play out Doom Foretold. I'm actually gonna set an upkeep stop just in case if they play out Doom here. Yeah. So what I can do here is I can flash in Omen of the Sea. I'd rather get the ramp off this. Um, I have two ultimatums in hand already. Don't think we want Coma. And then I can get um, my red source out for Valky. And then next turn I can set up for ultimatum. So green, 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 black, black, blue, blue. Okay. So we can set up for combo turn next turn. I don't really care about the binding here. This may just be a value turn as opposed to the full combo while they still have Doom out. It could cure best the Sea Gods. Um, I'm going to play around Jawari Disruption here. No reason not to. Okay, so here. Cure best the sea gods. Seagate restoration, all runs epiphany. I don't want to go Tibbled here because we can potentially just lose it to the Doom Foretold. So we're not getting too much utility out of it. With the Seagate, we can get like a max hand size. One thing that I sometimes play in these decks, and it can be pretty impactful in this format, is playing a Wilt in the board. Um, just a one of to tutor. Sometimes I'll play like Agonizing Remorse also as a one of. Um, if you're running into more aggro, you can play Elspeth, uh, um, Elspeth's Nightmare as a way to kill something, exile graveyard, and like Thoughtseize. Okay, so they're not giving us the card draw. So one thing, first in, last out. So when you're stacking for the uh, Vorinclex, you want to do Tibbled first and then Vorinclex, so Vorinclex resolves first. So here we get an extra turn. Um, probably just gonna go I don't have another turn spell. Um, I'm probably just going to go Tangled Floor Hedron out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's draw a bunch of cards. And that's the one way you get around them. So there we didn't combo per se, but we went with the just kill you with damage route. We'll run one more. Deck's feeling pretty sweet. Um, I think maybe two you want two all runs epiphanies. Um, they are pretty good if you can t like chain. Like if that turn we were able to chain one more together, we can basically lock them out of playing for a couple turns and then just build up a board. Um, I think we keep this hand. I'm going to go this on one and then Wolf Willow on two. Generally speaking, you want to Wolf Willow on a basic. There is Field of Ruin that goes around to some extent in the format. Okay, so Temple of, Epif of Abandon. This could be combo as well. Uh, Tybalt's Trickery. 
Could be Gruel. Um, so if I do this next turn, I'm going to wait a turn. Because if they trickery us, they kept a 7 lander. Because then next turn I could Wolf Willow onto like a basic and then still hold up Disruption. This most likely is the trickery combo. Oh, they didn't full control. So we would have countered it anyways. Ah, best of one, best of one. Imports deck list doesn't uh, play around it. All right, let's try for real matches. The Yorian deck game was pretty good though, at least. We got to see the deck in its action. The disruptions, especially in best of one, are actually pretty good, allowing you to have a two mana counter for the disruption or their uh, trickery. Opponent did keep seven lines, so they had the combo in hand. Um, this hand's fine. Opponent just wants to win. We'll see if that's the case. Just play a blue first. Okay, so we know at least they're not on a trickery deck. Could be some sort of rogues. Let's not give away the information we have green yet. I'll go omen here. So this deck's usually pretty bad against counterspell based decks. Just you're trying to resolve a seven mana sorcery. So we're gonna have priority here. We'll see if they uh, decide to blink the omen. Okay, they use a the disruption there. Mm. So the question, I ideally want this on black, but then it looks like we don't have a counter spell up. Let's go blue. I'm just gonna shark for one here. They could they're likely gonna have an eliminator heartless act. They just want to cycle through my deck. We just want to try to get them low. As much as we can cycle through our deck, like these are pretty much dead cards. And to the extent so is this. Um, I'm going to cycle this Ketria Trinome. Again, it's unlikely I'm going to get to resolve a Tybalt in this matchup, so... I think we just want to keep up with card advantage. If they go like Ashiok this turn. I want to give the illusion like we have counter spells. I think same idea. See what they do here first. This does represent our second block, which we need for the ultimatum. Let's just play this out. Our opponent has played one spell this game. We got to get him to try to tap out at some point. So it may just be like trying to jam this Yorian like for no value so that way we can then untap or at least get a counter out of their hand okay we're gonna cycle this one mm. 
We are hitting line drops, which is important in the control mirror. Usually it's the first one that misses it. You know, let's not tap like that. So we'll cycle this. Hope that they tap out for like, I imagine they have like, so even the thing is I need to go to at least eight mana for Jawari. I don't want to get this hit by a two mana spell. So one trick when you don't have priority, it's to just go full control to make it seem like you have a counter spell. So this is actually an interesting turn. Okay, since we drew the second one, then I'm fine with just going binding here. Because either this gets a counter out of their hand and prevents the discard, or they counter this and then they get rid of one of my ultimatums. This was going to counter whatever we had anyway, so they'll get rid of one of the emergents. Like I said, this matchup's generally not the best. We can get like one of our card draw spells. We might just have to start jamming stuff, to be honest. It's fine. We have the eliminate here for the barons. Go blue here. No value. We'll blink this onto something else. Again, I just want to get... They haven't really been drawing cards. So I want them to go through their spells here. They can charge this up one. They exile my graveyard. They didn't even charge it up. It's interesting. Don't know what you're afraid of there. You see our hand. We can't really do much. Oh, it'd be nice. Even a disruption. Ah, Jawari at this point doesn't do much. How about a land? All right, you got a counter. We just got to throw stuff out there at this point. Just playing this out as a 2-2 likely won't do much. The downside of this play is with Castle. Now they're going to be one card down. If they don't have it, then we're in a good spot. Do they not have a counter? Oh. So you're either going to give me card draw. Um, Valky. Vornclex. I did not think that was going to resolve. They could be in a similar boat to us where they just have... So first in, last out. So Valky as Tybalt and then Vornclex. So then we exile. Play out a land for turn. 
play out this nightmare. Gets to go right to Sega 2. See what's hanging out in our opponent's hand. They didn't want to show us. And victory. So that's pretty much what you want to do with the combo element. You get to basically steal all their graveyard and stuff and kind of attack them that way there. So that was a quick 4-0. We were playing play Q, but we did play against some style tier decks. Obviously, trickery is not really matches. But uh, that's pretty much it. Appreciate everyone for watching. Do drop a comment with any deck list you'd like to see. And as always, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.